After enjoying the island life in the Philippines, we decided to finally come and see what the big city of Manila is all about. So we hopped on a flight up from Boracay and we are here now on a Sunday. And we've heard that the weekend markets here in the Makati area are absolutely famous and you should not miss out on them. So we're here at Legazpi Market. We are gonna head on in now and hopefully grab some food because we're starving already. Of course, the second week entered here, we found a Turkish food stand and I got too excited because I saw a dana kebab, lahmacun. Have romance. <laughs> Thank you. Sempre. Teşekkürler. I can't Teşekkürler. believe I found my Turkish people here already. Mm. You know what? I never thought that I would come to Manila and on my first day I will eat Turkish cafe. Mama recipe, mama recipe. I'm the only one who makes it. Really? How do you make this? I mean, you don't have to tell me exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're you an mean, Indian, like, aren't you? Do I look Indian? I look like everything, you, you I guess. Your foot passed North, really? North, North India, right? North India. Yeah. <laughs> so we weren't sure really what to expect when we were coming here, and it's definitely surprised us a little bit because we were expecting this kind of old school, traditional Filipino market, and there is a good bunch of that. There's vegetable stalls, there's fish stalls, you could even buy clothes here, but there's also a ton of stuff from all around the world. There's Japanese right behind me, there's Indian, there's Moroccan, there's Israeli Turkish, there's a whole host of stuff here. Really cool. We actually decided to just chow down really quickly on a couple samosas or before maybe trying some more local Filipino food after this. What kind of food is this? Rice cake, sticky rice. Is it Filipino? Yes. It for the market for now. We're off to a different part of Manila because we want to explore the whole city or as much of it as possible while we're here. And that's going to be the world's oldest Chinatown. Let's get into the cab. Welcome to Binondo. This is the world's oldest Chinatown. It dates back to the 1500s and there is a bunch of stuff to see here, food to eat here, and this is definitely a more authentic and local side of Manila. We can't wait to go around and explore it right next to the Lucky Chinatown Mall right now. I don't know if we're gonna do shopping, but we figured it was a good place to start. We're at this mall. You're here to cool up a little bit because it's extremely hot outside. We decided to stop by at Angi Tin, which is a famous Chinese style Filipino deli that's been around since 1912. Obviously not their first and original location here. They also obviously have one outside of the mall that's much more popular. We wanted to try Hopia here. They have so many different types and styles. They even have Ube, which Gokche is really, really excited about because that's the stuff that you find inside the hollow hollow that makes it purple also. So I'm gonna buy one right now and try out some Hopia, which is kind of like a cake style dessert that they serve here. I'm excited to try Hopia because it's Filipino and Chinese at the same time and it's a dessert dough so it's like all the good things together with the flavor that I really love so much. Alright. Ooh, okay. Ooh, there are like four pieces. It's a lot of dessert for us to eat so probably I'm just gonna have like half just to taste and see what it is like. Oh god, it smells so good. <laughs> Wow, the dough, outside dough, it's like very, very thin. It doesn't like overwhelm you. The inside is very thick and very fruity. And I really, really like it. It's definitely very much on the sweet side. Of course, it's a dessert, so of course it's gonna be sweet. You can see the purple color inside. It's just amazing. I don't know what we're gonna do when we're back to New York. Do they even sell ube? I have no idea. Might as well try it for the first time ever too, right? You like it? It's good. It's not the most amazing dessert in the world, personally. Ube is great, but I feel like I might want to try the brownie flavor that they have. That might be more up my alley, but I think we're going to save it for next time because there's another stuff we're going to be making right after this that is another famous bakery here in this area, so got to save a little bit of room. Okay, so we came to the heart of Chinatown to check out one of its most famous bakeries, Salazar Bakery. Yes, Spanish name, but it is a Chinese-style bakery that has been in this very spot since 1947. Yeah, a long history here. Thank you, thank you. Good does it smell in here? Amazing, wow. I wanna eat everything. <laughs> Which one is this? Yes, ma'am. Lotus toy. What? Oh, Lotus cream. It's the best one? Lotus cream? Okay. okay. So Lotus cream is the best one, she said, and then we have the other bottle. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
We came here for two things. One is going to be this asado roll, which is a pork kind of sweet bun, which I'm going to eat because, of course, Gokche doesn't eat pork. And then we also got a Chinese moon cake, which is actually lotus-based cream. That one's for Gokche. So, time to dig in. Oh, man. It smells so good, and it's fresh. Let's dig in. Mm. Do you like it? It's good, but there's such conflicting flavors. I like it. Would I go out of my way to eat it? Probably not. It's adobo pork. Yeah, adobo, pork, and a few other things that are mixed in here. And it's supposed to be salty because of being pork, but it's actually sweet. Yeah, well, that's the conflicting flavors, I think, actually. And of course, we got Chinese mooncake because this was one of the things that's suggested by my best friend's cousin. This Chinese mooncake is actually a very special cake for Chinese culture because they actually eat it like for the festival time in the autumn time and the roundness around the cake is kind of representing the togetherness, the wholeness, the family reunion for Chinese people. Oh my god, even one bite is so intense so creamy and so fulfilling. I don't know how one person can finish this whole thing honestly because after two bites I'll be full. This is like such intense and such heavy but extremely delicious cake. Yeah, better than the pork bun. <laughs> Chinatown Manila has definitely been so unique. It really is cool to see the world's oldest Chinatown, but now we're gonna go switch it up and see the Spanish heritage of Manila, head over to another location here in the big city. And we are back to Europe. Well, it feels like it anyways, because this whole Spanish influence on the architecture and everything here just makes it feel like you're literally in a little Spain. So everything just makes it feel like you're in a history and this is a very historical place after all. So we're excited to check out this church. So let's go. So three quick facts about the Church of San Augustine. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is pretty awesome. It's also a Filipino national landmark dedicated in 1976. This is also actually the third iteration of this building. It was knocked down a couple of times before and rebuilt. And it is the oldest stone church in the entire of the Philippines. We would definitely love to come back here during the Christmas time. We'll have to probably put it on our list, but we're gonna keep going because it's almost sunset time and apparently there's a really cool sunset spot in this area. We have made it to the top of the Bay Leaf Hotel here in the Intramuros area of Manila. And this is supposed to be one of the best sunset spots in the entire city. You get unobstructed views because everything in this old town is on a much lower level. And there's even a roof deck over there that you could watch the sunset from. Of course, since we didn't make reservations, we got the opposite side for the sunset. But it's actually really nice. We can see out into the parks nearby. And there's also the wall from the old city down below where there's cannons still in place from, you know, way back when. So really excited to check out the food and maybe some drinks. And this very menu is also from medieval times, as you can see, they bring it in the biggest announcement level, I guess. Uh -huh. it's like Announcing, a we have soup, pumpkin, truffle soup. Oh, that sounds good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let Goche order and put this down. Okay, so after a couple of drinks and some food, enjoying a beautiful sunset here on the top of the Bay Leaf Hotel. Well, beautiful for Manila, of course, it doesn't compare to those El Pino sunsets, of course, but we are stuffed. We're gonna head back to our hotel. We're gonna go around the Makati neighborhood tomorrow more than just the Sunday market that we saw today, so can't wait for that. We will see you in the morning. Good morning, we are in Manila's Makati area and even though it's not too sunny, it feels so hot today. I can't believe how humid it is. Now we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping, explore this area and have some lunch. There are so many restaurants lined up next to each other right here and they are very fancy. You can tell the profile is a little bit different here. A lot of people are coming here probably because it's like a business area and you can see more white collar people here and tourists of course. This is definitely a different side of Manila than what we saw yesterday and the prices are of course adjusting accordingly. I wanted to order some juice and I couldn't believe because the prices are basically matching up with New York prices. It's $6 for a juice. Definitely interesting to see how prices are pretty much higher than we expect with the standards. It's delicious at least. 
So yeah, apologies. We decided to get a little bit of Western and Mediterranean food today. Had a lot of Filipino food and it's delicious, but you know, gotta switch it up sometimes. This is what I'm married to, everybody. Dancing around H&M. Huh? <laughs> well, we decided not to do a lot of shopping today because it's really humid outside and we are feeling so tired. So in order to wake up, we decided to have Halo Halo for the last time in Philippines. When we first came here, it was one of the first desserts we tried on our first day in Cebu. And then we had it in Boracay and both times with Greg and Jumi. This time, just ourselves, and we're so excited about it because I really love the ube flavor, and anything with ube is right now exciting me so much. And halo halo is really, really delicious. Thank you. I can't believe this is just for one person. This is 16 odds actually, <laughs> and we always want to share because it has so much in it. There's like a whole mix of all the delicious things together, and of course, our favorite flavor in Philippines. Ube. There are things that I'm gonna miss so much in Philippines. One, the calamansi. Two, ube. And three, the garlic rice. Oh my god. I feel like they became part of my life and it's going to be so hard to live without. Oh, I don't wanna say goodbye to you. <laughs> I love you. Can we just bring some ube back to New York? Oh my god, it tastes so good. I can't get enough of this. So, don't mind my purple teeth. We've been digging into the halo halo, and you know, ube kind of does that to you. But halo halo means mix, mix. So, basically, what you want to do is like just mix up all the ingredients in there and then take a nice big spoonful of everything, and you're gonna get obviously that nice purple ube flavor. And mm, freaking good. We're glad we came upstairs in here in the Greenbelt Mall and dug into a delicious dessert before we finish up this video. We are now back out on Makati Avenue. We're gonna finish up our day here though. Pick up tomorrow, because we're stuffed after that hollow hollow. The good news is we have some really cool things planned for tomorrow. We're gonna finally be on the opposite side of eating. We'll show you more about that tomorrow, so don't forget to stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. so excited to cook up our own local Filipino dishes. Smells so good right now. I want to have the most Filipino way possible. Is, is this from the can? No. no. I got fresh. 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 Smells so good. Super and nice. we are so hungry. Incredible. Oh my god, it's so good.